Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am super super excited to bring this video to you because one, it's been ages so I'm really sorry and two, I've got a new camera and I absolutely love it so I was excited to bring you this look which is my smoky eye uh, suitable for upcoming parties so let's get on with the video the first thing I'm going to go in with is uh, my new Chanel foundation and this is Vita Lumia Aqua by Chanel and this is in the colour 10 beige what I'm going to do, I'm going to shake this up really really well I bought this on a trip on the way back from Disneyland Paris with my friend Danielle's Hendu. It was the most amazing um, Hendu in Disneyland Paris and I made myself proud and I went on most of the rides. There was one I didn't go on and there was one that I wouldn't go on ever, ever, ever again. But I really, really enjoyed. And this was a bit of a splurge in the airport. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And this colour is a little, little bit too dark, but some blending with my contour brush should do me fine. And I'm blending this all the way down my neck as well. So I'm going to go straight into eyeshadow just in case any of it falls down. Um, so I'm going to go in with an eye primer and this is MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to put that all over the lid, mine is really really drying out so I'm going to and I'm kind of keeping it on the lid rather than putting it any higher up because that's where I want the most amount of colour to happen so I'm now going to go in with a bit of eyeliner and this is Bourgeois. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this messily just really, really close to my uh, to my lash line. That's what it's called. With my finger, I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit really really gonna notice it. I'm gonna go in with my Naked Basic palette that is obviously well well loved um, to the point that this eyeshadow falls out and this eyeshadow is well well crumbled up if you can see but I still absolutely love it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with WOS which is this shade here. Right, I'm going to put the odd focus back on. This might make noises, but I'm really sorry. So it's WOS, and this is Walk of Shame. And this is going into my brow bone and going down towards my crease. And this is going to help any eyeshadow to blend in nicely there because I want it really, really well blended. I'm going to go in with Naked 2, which is this shade here. Ooh! I told you, just lost my lightest shade. Not focus. Aha, found me. So Venus has dropped, just dropped out. It is too well loved. So again, I'm going into Naked 2. And I'm just going to be putting that in the crease, but very, very lightly, not very noticeable. This is just going to be a transition shade. With a smoky look, it's not about putting dark in the crease, it's about dark right along the lash line going up to a lighter hazier look but I like to put a little bit of definition in this area just to deepen it up that tiny bit and not make it look so stark and then I'm going to go with a flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with faint so using the same palette so this is faint right here tapping off the excess and this is going to go right along the lash line itself and just coming up to the sort of top of my socket we're really really focusing in along that lash line sense blend blend blend
and blend it up towards the socket. By the way, this is my Zoeva 228 brush. And I'm just taking a little mixture of the both and just filling in that area up towards my crease. So now that is well and truly blended, I'm going to go with Foxy, which is this yellow toned um, uh, skin shade. And remember, if you're not as pale as me, you might need to use the, the dark colours. But I'm just blending that into the crease, just to lighten it up again. So I'm now going to go into um, my uh, flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with Crave which is the darkest shade in the palette and I'm going to try and make a really really soft wing with that so all I'm doing is pressing it on the outer corner of the eye and really really lightly making it into a flick and with a pencil or Lux Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva I'm just going to really lightly run that along the edge of that black just to smoke it out. I'm going to move on to brows before I go to the bottom, uh, bottom part and I think a smoky look definitely needs a brow so I wouldn't skip this step at all unless you have perfect brows and you don't need to fill them in at all. So I'm going to go in with my Faithful uh, Browsing, and this is in light, um, I could do with a medium, but um, to be honest, um, I think this is enough for me. Now for the bottom, it kind of is the sort of similar thing, where you go from lightest on the outer corner going into dark. So, I'm going to go in with the Petite uh, Lux Petite Crease from Zoeva and I'm going to go into Naked 2 and just apply that quite low down. Now I'm going to go into Faint and I'm going to apply that a little bit closer. I think we've got a bit of Crave on there as well but that was going to be the next step, but hey ho, I'll just go with it and just smudge that in and going back in with that pencil brush just to blend it all out so it's not too harsh. So you've got a few options now. You can either, if you do, if you want to open up your eyes even with a smoky look, you can go in with a eye brightener, which I've got this one here, which I really really like. It is by Pixie. So it is a skin colour eyeliner. Go back in with your liner and just apply that on your waterline. And this is the black colour, sorry. And I'm going to put tight line as well. That gives an ultimate smoky eye look by putting the black eyeliner on. But I've worn it with the um, nude colour and I think it works really, really well as well. So now going in with concealer. And I'm going to be using this one here. And this is True Match Concealer by, or Match Perfection by Rimmel. And this is 01 Ivory. And I'm just going to be putting that... underneath my eye in a V. I really like this. Um, I don't hear lots of people raving about it, but I picked it up because I'd forgotten my makeup when away. So I picked it up from Tesco and I really, really like it. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush I used, the contour brush, and I'm just gonna pat that in. I'm going to set that with my Stay Matte powder which is broken and I've decorated on uh, but I'm just going to just try and add a little bit on my brush and just looking down into a mirror to try and set that product. And now for a bit of contouring, I'm going to do my mascara later, I don't know why, that's what I just fancy doing. 
and I'm going to go into Hula from Benefit and I'm going to be using this brush here. I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of blush and I'm going to be using this one here and this is by Lauren Luke. I don't actually know if she still does sell any makeup but I really like the palettes when they're about but I'm just going to apply that really lightly on the cheeks it is just a brown with a tiny bit of shimmer and a little bit peachy as well so anything quite neutral nothing too pink nothing too peach just really really subtle and I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use a product that isn't available anymore but I really want to use it up and I really love it. It's Jenna's Kids Rose Gold Highlighter. Should have probably binned it by now but I absolutely love it. So I've just added a little bit of glow just on the tops of my cheekbones on the outer edge. So now for mascara. I'm going to go in with 17 uh, mascara by... No. This mascara is by 17 and this is their false... IHD really really inexpensive and is really really buildable and I really like it so finally for lips and I'm going to show you a nude look and I'm also going to show you a sort of more festive red look depending on what you feel so I'm going to go in with a lip pencil and this is by collection and I think it's in natural but mine is completely rubbed off but I know it's by collection, which I like. It's so really inexpensive again. So I'm slightly overlining my lips because I think you can get away with it, but with a look like this, but not too much, it's going to be quite natural overlining. So I'm just applying a little bit in the middle. I'm patting that in. You could leave it like that, but I'm going to go with a super nude. So this is more of a natural sort of brownie tone, which is very in, so you could leave it like that. But I'm going to go in with my lip tar, and this is in interlace. And this product, you definitely need a lip liner. I am super, super pale. And even this is too pale for me. But it's a gorgeous sort of Bridget Bardot sort of lip colour. So I'm putting the tiniest amount on the back of my hand and using a lip brush. If you've never used OCC lip tars before, they are absolutely gorgeous. But a little bit goes a long way. This is uh, it with a nude lip, which I really like rocking at the moment. I really like that. So this is option one. So I'm going to get rid of this and put on the dark lip. So I just rubbed a little bit of it off, and I don't mind with a little bit of like lip liner left over because it's going to help. And I'm using 107 by um, Rimmel. And this is the Cake Moss, Moss Collection. I feel like I've used a lot of Rimmel in this video. Apologies if you don't like Rimmel. So that is it with a dark lip. You could go for a red as well, which will make it festive. But what I like with it is matte with matte, because this is quite a dramatic look. I think putting a gloss on top of this might be a little bit too much. But it's totally up to you. You rock whatever you fancy. So this is the second lip look. So I hope you really, really liked this video. And thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already and you want to see a few more looks, 
then please, please, please subscribe. Oh, and by the way, I want to show you the top because I think this would be perfect for Christmas parties as well. So this is the top I've chosen to go with it. Uh, this is from Primark and this only costs, I think, £8, so it's an absolute steal. I think this with a pair of skinny jeans and a leather jacket would be absolutely gorgeous. Destroyed my set. So as I was saying, uh, before I destroyed my set um, and my lovely background, which now looks awful, um, I hope you like this video and please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you and thank you ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.